it's not the regular sting or even the small sting. It's the micro sting. Hey YouTube, POV Knives coming at you with a small video. Sorry, I had to do it. This is the Herman Knives Micro Sting. For those of you that have been sleeping under a rock, Herman Knives is a brand that's really kind of taken off, especially on YouTube among knife enthusiasts that like a premium knife for a reasonable price because that's exactly what they provide. This knife is beautiful and I think we can kind of just jump in and look at the appearance. Everything they do really is custom in the sense that no two knives that I've seen are alike other than maybe the basic models. So this knife is not as dressy as they get. You can get damasty all kinds of crazy blades, all kinds of sculpted Marvel characters, which they're probably not paying Disney for, but besides that, um, all kinds of weird stuff engraved. This is kind of a middle of the road one. It's got all the beautiful milling that Herman Knives has really become known for and this leaf-like inlay that I'm not even sure what it is. I've, re I've looked on the website that I bought it off Polish Custom Knives. I've looked at the paperwork that came with it. I can't figure out what the heck it is, but it's beautiful. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious. And just details all around. I could talk about this knife probably for hours just on appearance alone. The way the scales are, you really have to get it in hand to understand what they've done with the sculpting. There is this concavity that's really hard to pick up on camera. It's thicker here, it goes in, it goes back thick. It really kind of nestles into your hand in a way that's really impressive. They haven't really skimped at all where they milled out for this inlay. They continue these lines where they would end normally. I'm talking about this area right here. The lock bar, you can see there's lots of milling. If I can get the camera to focus. There's milling all throughout that lock bar. The back is just as beautiful with a really stylish captured pivot. If you can see that, that's mirrored. The clip is beautiful. The backspacer is very unique for Herman. This is his thing that he does, which I really appreciate. I always appreciate knife makers that can come up with their own designs and not just interpret other designs. Even these pins are attractive the way they're done. The blade has a really nice, what I believe is a hand satin on it, which is subtle. And really for durability's sake, that's, that's best to not have a really heavy satin on there because that's just gonna scratch right away. That's really, unfortunately, where the positives end for me. Um, and I'm gonna say right away, I knew going in that this model had a weak detent. I did not know how weak. It is impressively weak. So action-wise, the close is really good. You guys know I like a nice, soft, balanced close. It's really nice. Maybe a little, not gritty, but you know when you can feel the bearings, they feel the bearings rolling? It's not like a Shiro type of close. It's just got some texture to it. That probably makes no sense, but that's as best as I can describe it. Man, the detent. Eh, it's just, <laughs> it's the weakest, um, most pathetic detent I've ever felt on a knife, even like a budget knife. It's, it's, honestly, it's terrible. This knife was almost a grand. It should not have this detent. To fail it, eh, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's impotent <laughs> the way it is. It's just this impotent little knife that doesn't want to have a detent. Um, the sound, I'm going to try to get my mic in so you can really hear this. Just listen, listen, listen. It sounds like, like in the old West when somebody hawks one in a spittoon. It's like, <laughs> it's just this little ting. Even the sound is just, oh, it's awful. Um, <laughs> I'm really disappointed in this. Um, this is a model that I think really shows off what Herman can do from an aesthetic standpoint. It is beautiful. That's why I chose it. I really, I dig when people are able to bring this level of detail into a knife that's this size 
I think it really shows a prowess of machining that is just truly impressive. But when you spend so much time on one area and truly make something great aesthetically, you really have to come to the table and at least meet minimum criteria of competency in the other areas. And while blade centering is pristine, the aesthetics are just great, I can even accept that this is RWL 34, it's a custom knife, that's fine. I don't need Magna Cut in everything I own. You have your own aesthetic stuff that you do with the backspacer. You got this weird leaf-like stuff on here that again, I really wanna know what it is, let me know. Somebody out there knows. You got this beautiful, beautiful uh, anonization that's like this gleaming copper that just goes perfect with this green leaf. And then you have this, eh. You can't have that. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't have that. Um, I'm really unhappy with this. Herman, if you're listening, which you're probably not, do better, please. If this was something um, that I wasn't already aware of having this issue, I would definitely call the dealer, I would definitely call the maker, and I would see if I could get it rectified. But I know it's been an issue, I just didn't know it was this bad. So um, this is probably a knife that's gonna go on the chopping block for me and get sold at some point. Um, so to sum it up, the Herman Micro Sting is tiny, really, really tiny. I'm gonna put it next to some knives so you can see how tiny. Here is our Para 3. It's smaller than the Para 3. Here is our regular size bug out. The bug out almost dwarfs it, which is just crazy. And then the full size Osborne. So it is great in a way that you don't usually see in the knife world. And then it is pathetic in a way that you never see in the knife world. Um, so it's just, it's, man, I'm really conflicted and I'm just really disappointed. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I've heard better things about the larger Herman models. So don't be discouraged from the entire brand. He's a relatively new-ish maker. So maybe he's still working out some kinks on this model. Herman, if you're listening, reach out. I would love it if you could fix this knife. I totally keep it, it's beautiful. And if you guys could give me a like, a sub, help me bring more content to you, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.